have your Bibles, I want to go straight to the Word tonight. I have one announcement, just one. Just one. I personally invite all of you to my party on Sunday morning. Amen, somebody. To my party on Sunday morning, I invite all of you to come hang out with me, amen, on Sunday. We're we going to have a day party. Is that all right? We're going to start at 8 in the morning. And whenever it ends is whenever it ends. Amen. We're going we gonna to have a wonderful good time in the Lord. We have some wonderful people that are coming, some blessed men and women of God that will be in the house, and I'm so glad. I'm so glad for it. Amen. If you have your Bibles, I'm, I'm going to use uh, Psalms 15 tonight. Psalms 15. With a backdrop of Acts chapter number 3. We, we dealt with that on Sunday. Anybody was here on Sunday morning? Anybody in the building on Sunday morning? Amen. Amen. You watched online. Amen. Huh? I'm so glad you watched online. Amen. Thank you. I'm so glad you reminded me. For all of you that are watching online right now, please grab your Bibles. Turn to Psalms 15. Join with us. I'm so glad that you tuned in tonight. And pray the Spirit of God that rest in this place will be where you are. Amen. Psalms 15, New King James Version. I'm going to start at verse number 2. Verse number 2, Psalms 15. And it reads, he, he who walks uprightly and works righteousness, speaks, speaks the truth, speaks the truth, speaks the truth in his heart. Who does not backbite with his tongue, nor does evil to his neighbor, nor does he take up a reproach against his friend. And whose eyes a vow person is despised. But but he he honors those who fear the Lord. He who swears to his own heart and do not does not charge change, excuse me, does not change who? Huh. He who does not put out his money at usury, nor does he take a bribe against the innocent. He who does things, does these things, shall never be, shall never be moved. God, we thank you. We thank you for all the things that you have shown us thus far, Lord God. We thank you for all that you've allowed us to be a part of, God. Master, we thank you first for waking us up this morning. Father, we thank you for the blessings that you have bestowed upon us and our entire family. Now, God, bless us in this place on tonight. Open up the ears of the hearers the doers of your words, the hearts and the minds of those who follow you. Now, God, bless us. Bless your servant. Need you tonight, God. Need you tonight, God. I, I need you tonight. Bless us in Jesus' name. Speak to me. Speak through me. Amen. 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 As you're going to your seats, do, do, do me a quick favor. I need you to lean over to somebody. And say, this is an integrity inventory. Integrity inventory. Inventory. Integrity inventory. I don't, I don't plan on being long tonight, but I hope that you have uh, your notebooks and the things that you need to take notes on tonight. Amen. Because uh, I want to make sure that we walk through this uh, properly. We walk through this properly. I, I, I was looking at the scripture from the other day, and we all got excited. We, we had a wonderful, good time. We began to talk about um, 
how God was blessing us through our connections. And, and, and we looked at the, the lame man that was at the gate, the gate called Beautiful. We, we, we looked at, at that and, and, and found out uh, a, a scripture that I had oftentimes just brushed past and or ignored, um, how it looked when, amen, after the man was, was, was healed, after he was healed, he, he, he got up and was in praising God. And while he was praising God, he was still connected to those that, that, that was able to give him a blessing. He was connected to those that was right there beside him that said, you know, silver and gold have I not, but, but, but we, have, we, have, we have Jesus. I will give you what I have. I will give you what's on the inside of me. I, I, I might not have money, and I might not have what you want, but I can give you what you need. Amen. Amen. Ain't nobody say amen, amen. right there. Amen. I, I, I found out. I found out. I found out that that oftentimes we 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 want to do stuff our way and we want to get stuff that we want and 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 we begin to pray about stuff that we want, not what we need. Amen. Oh, this is y'all gonna make it rough on me tonight. It's okay. I'm gonna work anyway. Amen. Uh, it, it, the, the less the, the less amens make me feel good. The reason it make me feel good because that means I'm going, I'm coming down your street, and and you don't know whether to say amen or ouch. So, 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 so I'm gonna just keep working, amen. I'm gonna just keep working the best I can. Tonight we're gonna check our integrity, amen. Because this is what happens. Oftentimes we see miracle after miracle. We've seen it. We've witnessed it here at this house. We've, we've seen it at other places. We've seen how people are being blessed and being blessed and being blessed. And, and is, it that, is it that we just become so accustomed to the blessing? Have we become so accustomed to the healing that now that we can't even apply the basic things that we're supposed to have so that we're not watching the blessing, but we're participating in it? Okay. Uh, are, are we just watching a healing or are we using the name of Jesus and creating a healing? Uh, uh, Y'all don't want to. Okay, talk back to me tonight. Amen. So, 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 what are we, so, what are we, so, what are we really coming in here for? What are we actually doing? Uh, are, are we just coming for the entertainment or are we coming so that we can get the information that we need to apply it to our life? And after we apply it to our life, we can use it in our everyday life. And the moment that we begin to use it in our everyday life, then we become a blessing and then, and then we can use the name of Jesus to create what he said that we would do. That we will do greater. Amen. Are y'all with me? That we that we would do greater works. Uh, so 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 if we can use His name the right way, without putting us on top of it. Amen. Oh. Amen. Okay. I I I I know where I need to go now. Thank you. Thank y'all. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. So so we use we use His name properly, and we get out the way and allow God to do what God is going to do, and get us from trying to do it ourselves. Then we create the healing that God wants us to create through Him. Amen. Uh, are y'all hearing me? I, I I paid attention to the things that has happened over the last uh, several years um, here at the temple. I've watched people. Walk, walk in and, and they'll, they'll have canes and, and, and before the end of the service the spirit of the Lord has showed up and the cane go one way. I, I've, seen, I've, seen, I've seen crutches walk in on crutches and, and couldn't barely walk at all and, and, and the spirit of the Lord show up and before long the, the one that couldn't walk is now running up and down the aisles. I, I've seen them come in on, in wheelchairs and we know that they have not walked in years have not walked at all in years but yet Stand up in the back of the church, walk all the way down, bow down, get back up, walk all the way back to the back of the church. Say, you know what? I don't need that wheelchair no more. Why? Because God has, yeah, he'll, I, I, I watched one of my kids tonight. I watched him. He jumped off the bus, and I saw him coming across the parking lot, and I said, wow, that's the first person I see tonight. Hmm. That's the first person I see tonight. But I remember when he used to have a cane. It could barely stand up straight. And his back was all messed up. But I remember the service. That's right. He stood right about right here and was prayed for and his back straightened up. And he has not used a cane since. Yeah, yeah, um. see, see, right there would have been all moments that we should have praised God. Every last one of them should have been times that we should have took a few moments to tell God thank you. 
because we were able to witness, yeah, we were able to witness the great things that he's able to do. We watch, we watch, we watch. Let me, let me just bring it home because we, we might say amen on this one, amen. We watched how our bishop went through triple bypass and came out on the top side with others who had the same surgery the same week. We witnessed the miracle. We witnessed the, we are currently in the middle of witnessing and watching him fight what they said was terminal. Which they said he should have been gone already. Okay, Y'all missed the time to shout. Listen. And, and, and we're watching it right now. We, we watched his numbers go from 7,330 okay, down to 700, then down to 300, and then down to 30, now, and, and then down to five. I let him get the rest of the testimony on Sunday because he just had a test the other day. Never mind, I'll leave the rest of that out. Y'all missing the right time to give God's name a... Don't, don't, don't miss it. So, so, it, so, is it, so is it that because we see the miracle so often is that we become accustomed to it. And, and since we're accustomed to it, we don't value it. Mm. Because it's a regular thing we don't value. Yeah, we don't value our relationship with God because we're watching somebody else's relationship. Am I making any sense tonight? Is it that we are so, so, so comfortable with seeing someone else's faith that we don't develop our own? Oh. Okay, all right, let, let, let's, let's, go, let's go to the scripture, amen. You, you'll see over in, over in Acts chapter 3, uh, the lame man was healed. As soon as the lame man was healed, then Peter um, used that opportunity to, to begin to preach to those that were around and letting them know the, the things that they had done in the crucifixion of Christ. He had begun to talk to them and tell them, this is where... This is what happened. This, this happened, and, and it would not have happened if you, if you would have did this. If you would have, he, he began to tell them all the things that, that they had done wrong. Y'all picked a murderer over Jesus. That, that's in the scripture. That's what they said. He said, he said, he said y'all picked a murderer. We, we, we had went over to Pilate's house, and Pilate began to tell us what was happening. Pilate didn't want to do nothing at all, but, but because y'all picked a murderer over Jesus. That, that's, that's what he said. And, 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 and I was looking at that and I said, well, he used that moment to bring about correction of those that were there. So, so, so the scripture that hit me tonight was, was Psalms 15. And, and he said, and, it, it, and I began to talk and began to have a conversation with God earlier today. He said, do an integrity check. Do an integrity check. Well, well why should I do it? He said, I just need you to do a real simple integrity check tonight just to see where 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 you are so as i was reading i i, I had to had to get myself together first uh amen uh, because i'm not just preaching to y'all i'm preaching to me first uh, are y'all understand I'm, I'm preaching to me first to make sure i now, I'm doing everything that I'm supposed to do to, 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 to be an example before you. I, I have to preach to me first. I, I can't just always stand up and say, it's you, it's y'all, it's you, it's y'all. And, and I know, I know, I know a lot of y'all in the building already understand that somebody, uh, anytime that, that a good point is made, you hear somebody holler out, well, tell them, pastor. Well, well, tell them, bishop. Talk to them. No, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to me. Okay, let me, let me keep going, amen. We so quick to deflect and throw something on somebody else that we never take ownership of the things that we have, amen, and the stuff that we are doing to, to, to mess up our relationship with God. 
integrity. Let's do a quick inventory. One of the first things it says here in, in chapter number two, it said, uh, walks uprightly. Yeah, the first understand uh, that, that, that integrity means uh, a quality of being honest. Oh, and having strong moral principles. Ooh, that's good already. Amen. Amen. Because a lot of us been to put on this facade as if we are integral, but, but we have no integrity at all. It's just a facade that we put on to impress others, but, but we just evil is all outdoors after we take the mask off, after we take the facade off, that you ain't got no Jesus at all. You just look like him, but you don't act like him. Oh yeah, I'm, just, I'm, talk, I'm talking tonight. Just look, we, we, we'll put on this facade and we, we, we'll make other people think that we are, right? We make other folks think that, that we got everything together. But in, in actuality, behind the facade, we are just as, ooh, as nasty, mean, hateful, evil, can't be nice to nobody. Oh, let me go on this. Let's go. That's what he said. Walks. I'm, I'm talking tonight, amen, y'all. Y'all pray for me just a little bit, amen. Pray for me. To, it says walk. Well, I got a few questions. Walks uprightly. It said walks uprightly. So, 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 so the question is, um, what is your basic ethical commitment? Your basic ethical commitment. Are you out to honor the Lord or to serve yourself? Ooh. So, 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 so the things that you do, the way that you walk, the way that you talk, the way that you act, is it for you or is it for the Lord? We're just talking about integrity tonight. Amen. The things that you're doing, is it for show? Uh, can we be honest tonight? Amen. I just want to, I just want to talk to all of us just a little bit tonight. I mean, it's, um, uh, is, is, is it that you're doing this for show, not for God? But to put you on display? Amen. I'm going to just kind of give a couple of experiences that I've, that I've, that I've seen. Amen. You, 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 you'll, you'll do something not to be a blessing to someone, but you'll do something uh, to show off what you have. Okay, all right. What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Or show off what you do. Amen. Show off what you do. Okay. I, I, I've noticed a few things, and, and, and it's, been, it's been, been irritating me just a little bit. Anytime, um, especially in this age of social media, I ain't going to say nobody in this church. Amen. But I'm going to just see some of the things that I've seen. Uh, anytime that somebody do anything good at all for anybody, the first thing they do is throw on their, their live and their social media is trying to show everybody the stuff that they are doing. So are you doing this for God or are you doing this for likes? Uh, okay, you're doing this for likes. So if you're doing it for likes, you're doing it for self, and you're not doing this for God. Are uh, uh, y'all following? Walk uprightly. Just, just walk uprightly. Yeah, who are you doing? Are you doing this to honor the Lord or doing it to serve? serve, serve. Number two, it says, it says, uh, works righteousness. Hmm. Uh, what is the end result of your work. And what is the end result? The end result of your, um, are you promoting good in the world or are you promoting evil? What is the end result of your work? Let me see if I can make this make sense. Um, when you leave a situation, is it better or is it worse? Can, can we you know, just throw that out there? Amen. Are, are anybody getting anything so far? Yeah. Okay, hopefully you're getting a little bit. Amen. So, so, so if you have a, let's just say this, if you have a conflict with somebody, we all have conflicts from time to time. Amen. We have disagreements and moments from time to time. Yes. Uh, at the end, in the result of the conversation, of trying to get the conflict resolved, do you want to love on one another? Or are you trying to fight one another? Uh oh. Ain't nobody say amen right there. That's just kind of, 
That was kind of rough. I know it was kind of rough. I know it was kind of it's kind of bad because because oftentimes we don't really want to resolve the issue we just want we want to be heard in the issue but we don't want the result in the issue so therefore the the issue will always be there if you're not getting the results that you desire since that's not the result that you desire it don't end up in a good situation it will end up in a evil situation so now the, the moment that we're supposed to be loving and hugging on each other and saying i'm sorry i don't know what happened and, and we're just going to fix this now we don't want to fix this i just want to be heard That was so good, amen. I'm just, I'm just, Lord, I thank you, amen. It's, if don't nobody else say thank you, God, I'm going to say thank you, amen. I, I can take this, God. I'm so glad I, I can take it because I don't want to ever leave anybody hating me and, and being upset with me and being mad with me and going through changes just simply because I want to be heard. I want it to be right. Let's try this over here. I'm tired of folk just when you... To trying to be right for you. I want to be right for God. I, 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 if I got to take the wrong, I got to take wrong just to be right in God's eyes. I will just take wrong. God, I want to be right before you. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. What is the end result of your actions? What is the end result of the things that you, I just want y'all to think about it just for a moment. What is the end result? Is it good or is it evil? I just want you to think for a minute. Is it good? Or is it evil? Number three. I promise you I'm going to get a, I got ten. I'm going to get all through all ten of them. Give me about 15 minutes. Amen. Maybe 20 if I don't get stuck nowhere. Uh, this is real good. Scripture says, uh, speak. Speak the truth. Oh, glory to God. Amen. Uh. That's kind of hard right there. That's, that's a little rough, right? Speak the truth. I say, speak the truth. Are, 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 are you in a habit of telling little white lies when it is necessary or convenient? Mm. Oh, y'all. I'm just looking around the room right now. Y'all should see the folk, they rolling their eyes at me. Some folk looking at the ceiling, they don't even want to look my direction at all. It's kind of rough, amen, kind of bad. Do you just practice lying? You just practice, you ain't got to lie. But because it's convenient, you lie anyway. Okay. Y'all ain't see my two-step in the side. Y'all ain't see y'all ain't y'all ain't see that slide right there. That was my praise right there. Amen. Um, why is it that we oftentimes have moments where we call them little little white lies, but 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 honestly, a lie. It's a lie. Uh, okay, all right. You know you all hang. I'm gonna talk. I'm gonna tell on me. Y'all don't mind if I tell on me for a minute, Pastor. You know you all hanging out with the boys. And she wants you at home. I'm talking about me. I ain't perfect. I ain't perfect. I know you people think I'm perfect. I ain't perfect. So, so, so why, instead of just saying I'm hanging with the boys, I just say I'm on my way. I, I, I already know. I already, I already know. I said it's cool. I'm kicking it with the fellas. That's all I really had to say. And I just say, you know what? I'm on my way. I ain't got up from a seat the first. I just, I'm telling on me tonight, hey, amen. It's fine, I'm, I'm still right here with the fellas, hey. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, hey, amen. I'm, I'm in front of everybody, I'm sorry, hey, amen. I, 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 you know, I told on myself, ain't nobody else gonna tell, I tell on myself, hey, amen. So, so, yeah, yeah, so I, uh, it, we make it a habit of doing something that we think is small. But oftentimes, if you can do it and you make it a habit when it is small, it becomes a part of your life. And now it is habitual, so you do it all the time. Uh, am, am I making any sense tonight? Anybody willing to tell on themselves like me? Anybody willing to tell on themselves, amen? That, that you have told a little 
as we call it, a little, a little itty bitty lie. Sometimes you said something. something. Now, the thing is, we got to make sure that we speak the truth all the time. Uh -huh. Amen, somebody. Yeah. Speak the truth all the time. I learned, I've learned that you don't have to work your brain so much if you just tell the truth. Oh, amen. Because now, now you have to remember every lie you didn't told. Not only you get, do you have to remember the lie, you have to remember the truth. Oh, okay, all right. We have entirely too many people that are living a complete lie, so now they have to remember their lie and they have to remember the truth. And in remembering the lie, sometimes the details get mixed up from time to time and you're trying to figure out what lie go with this story, what story go with this time, this time go with this. It's easier just to tell the truth. Uh, are are y'all hearing me tonight? It's easier to tell, just, come on, touch three people, tell them, tell the truth, tell the truth, tell the truth. Tell the truth, tell the truth, tell the truth. Just tell the truth, it's all right. Ooh. Can you tell the truth when you know it's gonna hurt? Oh, now, now I'm on to something now. Can you tell the truth when you know it's gonna hurt? You know it might cause a problem. Can you tell the truth? Amen. When you know, yeah. This is an honest moment tonight. I want, I want to help us in our integrity because if I help us in our integrity, do our integrity inventory, then that will put us in a place where now I can apply what the word says. And when I apply what the word says, now I'm more effective in the kingdom of God because I'm operating the way that he would want me to operate in. Amen. Then I can flow in the anointing that God has for me and has bestowed upon my life without having to use the anointing through a filter. What is the filter? What is the filter? The filter is all the stuff that you put on top. Yeah. Amen. Okay. Amen. Let me just throw something out there real quick, real quick. And I'll and I leave y'all alone. Amen. I, I'll go to my point number four in a second. So, so uh, since, we, since we're operating in truth and, and we've been doing our, our financial planning and we've been trying to get us in a, in a better financial, healthy state, not only in the church, but, but also in our individual lives. And, and one of the biggest lies that we often tell, especially in church, I'm a tither. No, you ain't. No, 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 you ain't, you ain't tithing, you ain't tithing. I'm not, you know. I, I want somebody to say ouch right now, amen. Um, uh, uh, that, that's one of those lies. See, see, what we do is we, we'll say, I'm, I put something in the tithe box, but it ain't 10%. Oh, 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 but we didn't think that that was a lie. Oh, we, we didn't look at it that because I'm giving something thinks that I'm covered and I got everything covered, but, but honestly, I, I made a hundred, I mean, I made a thousand and I know my tithe was a hundred, but I gave 25. But I put 25 in the tithe box. So you're trying to tell me that you only came and gave God you just, just a portion of the things that you're supposed to? Well, I remember somebody who came and only gave a portion of what they were supposed to and died on the spot. Oh, oh y'all don't, don't want to talk Bible, do we? You, we, we don't want to talk Bible. They came and they bought a portion. They lied. And when they lied, when they brought the portion, they died because they lied to the priest. Uh, glory to God. See, y'all don't want to say amen right there. Because that, that's real stuff. That, that, that's, 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 that's. And, and, and then we look at it as being little. I'm given a little bit. Thank you. Appreciate you. But we're not following the word. We're not following what God has mandated us to do. But yet we have the audacity to think that we're supposed to still qualify for all the blessings that God has for us, but yet we don't follow the basic standards that he put in place for us. Uh, are y'all hearing me? The very basic things that he has put in place for us, but we don't follow the basic stuff, but yet we want a grand blessing. Oh, y'all not y'all don't want to say amen tonight. We want this big old grand blessing, but yet we won't follow the basic instructions before leaving earth. Y'all didn't know that was the B-I-B-L-E. That's the book from, from okay, all right. So 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 we don't want to follow the basic stuff. 
And since we're not following the basic stuff, but yet we're expecting this great thing. And then we're always in a place of, of expecting something and wanting something. But, and then begin to blame God for not doing it or, or delay being on top of it. But we're delaying our blessings because we're not following the standards. Amen. If my daddy was here, he'd say, ooh, yeah. I'm sorry, I just threw that out there, amen. Ooh, yeah. Amen. Let's begin to apply the basic stuff that we need to do to open up the windows of heaven. Okay, let's make this. Can I take a pause moment right here just for a moment? I don't know how you feel about it, but, but, but for me, I'm, I'm tired of being right here, mediocre. I'm tired of, I'm tired of being medi mediocre. What, uh, I'm tired of, of, of just getting a little bit. I'm, I'm, tired, I'm tired of just, just, just working on, the, on this fine line of just, uh, just in the middle. No, no, no. I want the, the, the exceedingly, abundantly above all. I, I, I want God to begin to yeah, yeah. give me blessings that begin to be pressed down and shaking together and, and running. I want, I want blessings that come from the east and the north and the south. And the, I want blessings that come from everywhere. Why? Because I am doing what God has commanded me to do. I don't know how y'all feel about it, but I won't increase. I won't overflow. I want more than enough. I want to live debt free. I want to. Y'all missed all of that. Y'all missed y'all time to shout. I want to live debt free. These are all things that God has promised us, but because we don't want to do the basic stuff, we don't even qualify. Uh, yeah. Bless his name. Amen. Let's go on down. Uh, this, is, this might be a little bit hard. Number four. Does not backbite. Oh, this might be hard. This right, a little rough. I know we already talked about walking upright. And then we talked about, you know, uh, righteousness. And then telling the truth. And now, 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 back, back. What, what, what is back? What, do you tear down others behind their back? Uh, uh, Everything good. Why we together? You my brother, you got my back. You my sister, I got your back. We prayer warriors together. You my sister, you my sister, you my sister. I hear that so much. You my sister, you my sister, you my sister. Oh my God, you my sister. As soon as they not in the room, I can't stand her. Uh, but you're supposed to be my sister. You're supposed to be my brother. But as soon as it's convenient and you get around your click, as soon as you get around your click, then I'm the worst thing in the world. The moment that you get around your your circle, your your, your I'm a, well, um, it says does not backbite. That's what it says. It says does not backbite. Can you can you be my friend in my face and behind my back? That's kind of rough right there. Can, can you be my friend while I'm in your presence and be my friend when I'm cross town? Mm. Okay, let's try Let's try one. Since we're talking about circles and friends, I'm going to do some more circles and friends in a second. But, look, but, 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 but can, you, can, you, can you be honest with me and love me enough to check me when I'm wrong? Okay, I just thought I'd throw that out there. Amen. Can, can you check me when I'm wrong and, and can you support me when I'm right? Yes, and when I'm right. Yeah, see, that's a whole nother thing right there. Amen. Amen. That's a whole now let me keep moving, Amen. Amen. I, uh, just, just touch my tell them real simple. Uh, be be my friend in my face and behind my back. Yeah. You ain't got to tell all my business. Oh man, that was good right there. You ain't got to tell all my business, amen. I, uh, I thought we was cool from the beginning, but, but I found out 
from another source exactly what I said to you, and I know you're the only person that repeated it because I, you're the only person that I talked to, and since, and since you're the only one that I talked to, there's no way in the world they should be able to say the same thing I said to you because now, now you are talking about me, backbiting me as soon as I walk out of the room. Now you have turned on me because it's convenient for you to turn on me. The folk that you're around don't even realize that you will turn on them too. Whoa, that was so good. Oh my God, that was so good. Because if you can't be loyal to me, you ain't gonna be loyal to them either. Let me, let me get over here to my points. I gotta get back to my points, hey, amen. Are, are you loyal? Can you, can you, be, can you be loyal? Can you, can, can, can you be, be loyal? Can you, can you be, number five, number five, uh, uh, hey, amen. I just, I just want some loyal people. Huh. Let me just stick a pen right there just for a second. I promise you I'm getting out of your way. I got about eight more minutes and I'm gone. Can you be loyal? Mm. Now, I, 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 had a, I had a, I had a moment and, and, and I remember um, I'm talking to one of the, the, one of the greatest preachers of, of all time. We was having a conversation and, and, and he began to share. He said um, one of the reasons why the old fellas don't share with some of the next, with the next generation is simply because you're not loyal to your own friends as they are. You're too busy trying to destroy them to get a position. So he said, so he said, the reason we don't share with y'all because y'all ain't trustworthy. Oh, glory to God. Can we be loyal and trustworthy? Can we be a generation that's just loyal? and trustworthy so that so that so that the the generation that came before us can begin to share with us the intricate details of, of, of how they made it over am, am I let me keep going man y'all looking at me like I'm strange like I'm saying something like I'm saying is it does not take up a, a reproach against a friend that's what I said how loyal are you how loyal how loyal are you? Mm -hmm. When everyone is down on a colleague, when everyone is down on a person, when everyone is down on, on a situation, uh, do you jump up on the bandwagon? Mm. Or do you offer support and seek fair play? A amen. So, 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 so my thing is, if, if, if I got a friend, if I got a colleague that's, that's going through changes, if I got a pastor that's going through some changes and, and a whole lot of folk is getting on him and dogging him out and, and killing him on social media and killing him, you know, uh, publicly and, and folk getting up on the pulpit talking about how bad this person's doing. How, no, 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 no. I'm not going to jump on the bandwagon. Because if I'm loyal to you, I'm loyal to you. Uh, yeah, yeah. I've been loyal to folk, yeah, amen, that, that, that I get talked about because I'm loyal. Y'all don't want to have a real conversation tonight. It's okay. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm loyal. Had a friend of mine, had some issues, had some problems, going through some things, and I never left his side. Let me try that again. Going through some things, people talk about him real bad, dogging him out doing all kinds of stuff, and I stayed right beside him. Because I was loyal before the issue. Y'all missed all of that. I was loyal before the problem arise, but before the thing was exposed, the moment that was exposed, it wasn't for me to turn my back on, on no, no, no. What I do is I'm gonna bring you closer and show you more love because I know you need it now more than you need it then. So I'm gonna be more loyal while you are down. Why? Because I'm gonna be the one that's gonna help you get back up again. I'm not gonna talk about you, I'm gonna pray for you. I ain't gonna dog you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lift you up in prayer. I'm, yeah, okay. I wish I had more folk that would lift people up in prayer. Pray for somebody, not pray on somebody. Oh. All right, let me go back over here. Amen. We spend too much time praying on people instead of praying for people. We pray on people to get what they got to destroy them. So now, okay, let me just, let me just, let me. Settle down just a little bit, amen. Let me kind of get it together, amen. So, so I want you to lose your house and your wife because I really want your wife and your house. 
I'll pray and I will manipulate and I will twist some stuff around and then I get on your wife's team and be like, you know, yeah, he did it. Yeah, it was his fault. It's all of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because ultimately, I really want what you got. And I don't want you to keep what you have already. So I'm going to pray on you and not pray for you. Because if I pray for you, I want God to mend this. I want God to heal this. I want God to bless them. I want God to lift them up. Am, 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 I, am I talking to anybody in the house tonight? Uh, we, we doing all right tonight? I just want to make sure we doing all right tonight. Amen. We need to stop praying on and praying for. You know you want his husband? Her husband, excuse me. Well, 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 well. I made a mistake, but that's the truth too. I'm going to leave that right there. Bless his name. Amen. I... Can I just drop a pen right there for one second? Amen. Because we, you know, we be having moments and, you know, I was really saying, you know, you want her husband. That's what I was saying. You want her, her husband. Amen. And, and, and you too busy trying to break them up so you can get him but then don't realize the problems that come with him. I'm just being right. And then you have some that, well, I don't know if I should go down that street. Because it is some she's that want her and some him's that want him. And that's just, I'll just leave that right there. I'm praying for everybody. We, 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 we have been, we have been put, especially in the church. We've been put in this box that if you teach Bible to its fullest, you have certain communities that will ridicule and dog the church and actually legally come against the church. So I, I'm, I'm very cautious about what I say. Even though it's in the book. I just don't feel like 19 lawsuits. And then, and then if I can just have a real honest moment, uh, the real honest moment, a lot of those that saying amen right now will tuck their tail and run out the door the moment I open up my mouth and begin to say something concerning. I'm going to be nice tonight. See, everybody got real quiet right there. They, they say amen. Say it, Pastor. Say it. No, I ain't. Just read it for yourself. You'll find out what it say. Bless his name. Study to show thyself. I mean, let's go to the next point, amen. Uh, I'm trying to be nice tonight, amen. I'm a, I got about one more minute, and I got to get out of here, so I'm going to just throw a couple of these things out here. Those, hopefully you get it tonight without me trying to explain each and every one of them. So, 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 so number seven uh, would, would be honor, honor those who, who fear the Lord. Mm -hmm. Honor those who fear the Lord. Uh, those that are close to you, do they have the character? Do they have the character, the character of your friends? Do, 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 do they have, what is, what is their character? Oh. Or those that you have around you, um, do they have the character of God? Characteristics of Jesus Christ? Or are they just, as my grandma would say, heathens? And ain't got no God in them. Mm. Well, I um, when when, when you know, I told on myself earlier, you know, because sometimes I got to tell on myself. I, I said, 
that, yeah, I'm, I'm on my way, but I was really still sitting down with the fellas. Mm -hmm. um, in, in that situation, I'm just not sitting around doing nothing. Okay, Pastor. Okay. All right. okay. Can, can I just share yeah. some of the stuff that, that me and my circle do, yeah. that me and my circle of friends, we do? Because all of us walk the same walk. Mm -hmm. All of us talk the same talk. All of us believe in the same thing. All of us, yeah, all of us, we all believe in the same thing. So, so all of us, we're sitting down. We might be watching the game, uh -huh. enjoying each other's company. But somewhere along the way, uh -huh. somebody will say something about a scripture. And now we begin to talk and, and, and to break down what this scripture means. This one got this point. That one got this point. That one got this point. And we're looking at this from, from this. Well, well, man, I preached this two weeks ago. And when I said this and this, this point said this and this point said that. And da, da, da. I'm thinking about doing this scripture on next Sunday. And we're, 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 we're iron sharpens iron. Oh, y'all follow me. Iron sharpens iron. So, so we're in the same groupings together. Our circle, our circle. I said our, our circle. Uh, we're, we're strengthening each other in the word, not in mess. Did, did y'all just hear what I just said? Because a lot of circles uh, that we find ourselves connected to are just messy. We get together and all we do is just talk and talk. And talk about everybody else's business but your own. Yeah. Come on now. That's what I'm saying. I'm just talking about circles. Yeah. We're just talking about circles. Amen. Uh, let me go to the next one. Um, keep keeps his word, mm -hmm. even when it's costly. Is there someone who's able to have the ability to keep keep to keep their word? Is it? Are you trustworthy and reliable? Uh, is your word your bond? Is your word your bond? Uh, is your word your bond? That's what is, is, your, is your word your bond? Can somebody take your word to the bank? Uh, amen. Uh, is your word good? Or when you say it, people forget it the moment it comes out your mouth? Why, why would they forget the word that you say? Because... They're not used to you ever coming through. Oh, that was good right there. That's good. That's good. When you say something, do you stand behind what you said? Amen. Or uh, when you say something, it can just be ignored simply because you never come through with what you said. Come on, tell somebody something. Keep your word. 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 Amen. I, I, I remember I remember a time when when it wasn't a lot of contracts. We wasn't signing con signing contracts and stuff to keep people to keep their word. It was it was a handshake. Yeah, that's right. yeah, that's right. Things were done with a, a handshake. And now we have gotten so much away from being integral that we have to have a contract for somebody to keep their word. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. Let me keep moving. Amen. Amen. Um, I got two more and I got to go. Does not practice usury. Does not practice usury. Um, th this is what, what, what usury is. Usury is, is, is a legal um, action or practice, an illegal action or practice of lending money. Illegal practice of lending money and charging a high interest rate. So what we do is we call ourselves trying to help someone, but now you are charging an unreasonable amount of interest on top of what you're trying to get back from them. So therefore, you're not doing it for them to help them out in any way at all. Actually, what you're doing is, is that you're, you're putting stuff out there that's going to end up hurting them in the long run because now they got to pay this 45, 55, 65 percent back unto you. So therefore, that's not helping them at all. That's actually hurting them. Okay, let's, let's, let's try this one more time. Let's try this again. Um, it's, 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 it's like this. Uh, I, I, I allow you to, 
to let me, let me give you some money because I know you're going through some changes. I know I know you might be in a low place. I know you might you might have lost your job. You might have had a little issue, and I got a few dollars stacked up. So I wanna I wanna be a blessing to you because that's the word we use a blessing. We wanna be a blessing to you. We wanna just give you a, a little something. But 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 please know I'm just not giving it to you. Uh, this is a loan. Okay, this is a loan. This is what it is. This is a loan. And, and so now I have turned myself, instead of helping someone, um, I, 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 I've, I've turned myself into a loan shark. Amen. Uh, because I'm not doing the regular um, practices that is, that, that, that's been, been laid forth by the government, the, the interest rate that is laid forth by the government, the little small percentages that, that we do on regular loans. Well, so, so now I'm going 50 and 60 and 70 percent on top of that. I gave you 100, but I want 400 back. Uh, Y'all, ain't nobody saying amen, right? Dude, you want, this is what I want back because, because you know, uh, I want my whole hundred back. I need to get that back, but, but I had to hit you with the interest on top of this. And then, and then if you take too long with paying me my first hundred back, now I got to add another interest on top of that. And then, and then I, if you take too much longer, then I got to add another interest on top. But you already got your money back already, but, but you're just using people now versus helping someone. Amen, somebody. Amen. I got one more, then we got to go. Amen. I haven't done offering or anything tonight, so let me see. I got one more. Y'all get real quiet. Yeah, I start talking about stuff, and y'all you know, look at me like I'm strange. Yeah. Does not take bribes. Mm. Mm. I'm, I'm going to leave. I'm, I'm going to stop right there. Does not take, take bribes. Well, what do you mean, does not take? Um, what would it take? Yeah, to get you to compromise your integrity. And I'm going to stop right there. What does it take to make you compromise your integrity? Hmm. Come on, let's stand to your feet all over, but I'm, I'm, I'm stopping right there. What does it take? Thing that could buy you. Ooh. What is what is the amount? Ooh, that's good. What is the amount that will make you turn on God? What is the amount that'll make you throw your integrity out the window? What is the amount? That's what it says. Don't take bribes. I've seen this so much. I've seen it so much. When someone has offered something and it just so happened to be the right number. And they mess up their entire integrity simply because it was a number that they needed at the time. Did you hear what I just said? At the time. Let me tell you how the enemy works. The enemy will wait until you need something. And then the moment that you need something, come up and offer you an indecent yeah, proposal. And it would look like this is a blessing, this came from God, but it's messing with your integrity. So, 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 do we forego our faith for a check? Or do we wait and trust in God? Don't lose our integrity. Believe that it's going to happen. And the moment that we can believe that it's going to happen, then God will begin to bless us and open up the, the windows of heaven. God will begin to you know, show and throw blessings at us that we ain't got to sell our bodies to get. Y'all missed all of that. It's okay. That you don't have to sell. Yeah, well, I'll leave that right there. You, you don't have to put your integrity, your integrity in a place of compromise. 
The enemy uses lack to make you do things that you wouldn't normally do. Amen. I, I'm, I'm just telling the truth. It will make you do stuff when you, when you turn around and your children need something. Test of the enemy. When your children need something, they need some food. They need some shoes. They need, they need some clothes. But, but I don't have it. Can I, can I just tell you what happened to me? I mean, let me tell you what happened to me. Stopped hustling. Done with that game. I was done with the game. I was done. With, I'm just telling you the truth. I, I was hustling. Then I stopped hustling. I was done with it. Because I didn't want my children to see me do it. Got to a place where stuff got real tight. And I want to make sure that children had everything that they needed. I wasn't going to let my wife know that stuff was real tight. Thank you. Pride. I didn't want to let her know that I ain't have nothing and all my accounts was negative. The only money I had was the money that was sitting on the dresser, which looked like a lot. It was just some ones. Can I have an honest moment? So I needed some stuff. Rent, rent due. Yep. Car note due. Yep. All of this does do. Insurance is about the laps. And truth be told, the reason I had an envelope in the front of the car down covering up, you know, uh, yeah, yeah, the, the, the number, the VIN number on the car is because at that time they could not tow your car or repossess your car without seeing the VIN number. I'm just, I'm just telling my story. So I had the piece of paper down in the window covering up my VIN number because I ain't want the snatch man to come through in the middle of the night and take my car. Stuff was tight. Proposal came my way. I said, well, um, if you take this bag, all you got to do is take this bag and make this run. If you make this run, on down here, I give you this if you make this run. It sounded good. I'm just saying, it sounded real because what they were going to pay me to make the run was everything I needed. Y'all don't, don't miss the, Everything I needed. All my bills would be caught up rent. Everything be taken care of. Kids have everything they need. I, I thought that might have been been the way out, but but I'm not doing that no more. Oh, I had made up my mind that I'm not doing that any longer. But the trick of the enemy was to offer it to me to see if I would take it that that, that would make me compromise my integrity. The moment I said no, said, no, I'm not, I can't, I, I just can't do this. I, I just, I just can't do this. This is not gonna work out. I can't do this. Got in my car, made, made one ride, riding around, just, just riding around. Cause sometimes when, I, when, when something heavy weighing on me, I get in my car and I drive, I just drive. I, I just drive, I just drive. And then I got a phone call. Phone call said, well, stop past my house. What you mean? Just come past my house. The Lord told me to give you something. What do you mean? What do you mean? I, I was praying, I was praying, just praying, and, 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 and the Lord put your name in my spirit, and I just need you to come stop past. And, uh, and, and when I got there, it, it was a bishop that I don't even be bothered with. It was, it was a bishop that only knew me through my father. It was a bishop that just knew me through my, through my he said, and, and had never had a conversation with him longer than a couple of moments in the office, and that was about it, but slid past the house. And it was an envelope that was able to do everything. 
and more. God knows how to bless you if you just stay integral to the things that he has called you to do. Amen. If you just wait, don't, don't, don't allow anything to compromise your integrity. You wait on God. He'll, he'll bless you. Yours might not be like my story, but, but I know a lot of us in here has to have a grocery store, uh, grocery store story where you didn't have all you needed and you showed up in the grocery store and just for some reason somebody said, hey, let me take care of your, let me take care of your groceries. Huh? We, we have that story where folk will walk up to you and just give you something. The Lord told me to give this to you and it's everything that you needed at that moment to take care of the things that you needed to take care of. God will bless us. God will bless us. Let me say it again. God will bless us. Each and every person in here, God will bless. God will bless you. Reach over, grab somebody by the hand quickly. Two things we got to do tonight, and then we want to get out of here. Amen. I got to apologize to y'all first. I said we was going to get out of here early. A little white line. I'm sorry. I'm, work, I'm, I'm working on me, okay? I get, I get excited sometimes. Don't look at the clock. Y'all got to pray for me. Amen. Just, I, just, I want us to get it. Amen. I'm concerned about us getting it. I'm not concerned how excited we can get it. We can, we, you know, you heard the story? They were dancing and they were shouting. They were having a good time. They were praising God. Yes, we're going to do that. Yeah, because that's what we're mandated to do. We are the temple of praise. We're going to praise God. I do. But I want us to be able to take some home too. Because a lot of us walk in here and get sweaty. I said it. We walk in, we get sweaty. Because we had a moment. We had an experience with God. But we'll walk out of this place empty, still hurting and still struggling because we never grabbed hold of what was being taught and what was being said. We got excited when the bass dropped, when the beat hit, but we don't take nothing home and apply anything. God is calling us to be integral. He's calling us to lift up our level of integrity that we can tell the truth, that we can be honest. Amen. We don't take advantage of nobody. We do things for the right reason. Yeah, yeah. We do things for God and not self. Are uh, y'all following me tonight? Are you holding somebody's hand? If you're holding somebody's hand, do me a favor. I need you to lean over, look them right in their face, ask them, are you saved? Come on, ask them, are you saved? Are you saved? While you're still holding that hand, while you're still holding that hand, look them right back in their face. Amen. Look right back in their face. Get, get on their nerves for me for just one moment. I, I, do you have a church home? Do you have a church home? Talk to them. Come on, talk to somebody. Do you have a church home? You ain't here by mistake. Do you have a church home? Talk to them. Become a, an extension. Amen. Be an extension. I, I, I need you to be a disciple. Glory to God. Amen. Are you saved? Do you have a church home? Look them right back in their face. Look, look them, look at them, look at them. Come on, look at them. And have you ever been baptized? I'm talking about a baptism that means something, that means something. Not, not when you was five. And you just did it like I did it back then with all of my friends because everybody from Sunday school got in the water at the same time. That was, that was my first baptism. Hey, I'm just, can I just tell the truth? That was my first one at Mount Zion Baptist Church because one of us decided it was going to get in the water so everybody in the class said we're going to get baptized too that was my first one it meant absolutely nothing to me amen it wasn't until I made a clear decision that was going to penetrate my soul and I knew what it meant to be baptized. And I 
that's what I did. So, with, with, with that being said, if anybody, you know, person besides you, if they, if they said the wrong answer to the three questions that you just asked them, bring them to this altar. If they said the wrong, if they, if they don't have a church home and uh, they're not saved, then come on, come on, come on. I see you. Come on, come on, come on. They've never been baptized. If that's them, I need you to bring them. Come on. Oh, come on, Temple of Praise. Let's bless God for this young lady who came tonight. Is there anybody else in the house? Is there anybody else in the house? Come on, I see you. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Come on, son. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Temple, y'all just ought to go ahead and give God's name a praise. Do you see the things that God is doing in this house? Is there somebody else that needs to... Come on, I see you. Come on, I see you. Temple, y'all need to put your hands together. Amen. Is there someone else here tonight? She said, I came up. That was, that's my daughter. That's my baby. I'm going to make sure she all right. Amen. She's going to cover her baby. Now, listen, is there someone else? Before we move any further, before we do anything else, tell somebody beside the mask, are you good? Are you good? You good? You good? Right, right, you good? You good? Come on, talk to him. Talk to him real. Talk to him. Say, are you good? You good? Amen. Deacon Rousey, please prepare to take these that have come. They're gonna, Deacon Rousey is going to pray with you. Amen. He's going to pray with you. He's going to pray for you. He's going to get some information from you. Amen. Amen. Will you guys please do me a favor and follow this gentleman right here? Amen. It's the chairman of our deacon board. Come on, Temple of Praise. Can we praise God on a Wednesday night? Can we give God's name a prayer on a Wednesday night? Glory to God. Amen. It is offering time in the house. Amen. It's offering time as our deacons and deacons come forward. Make it your tithe. Get your tithe. Somebody, this might be your tithing night. Get your tithe. Get your seed and your love in your hand. Amen. Get your offering in your hand. Amen. Get your offering in your hand. And if you can help me tonight, I challenge you to get a $12 seed. Amen. If you can get a $12, if you can plant a $12 seed tonight. soon as you get your offering in your hand, we do text to give as well. We have our secure give in the back. Did anybody get anything out of the lesson tonight at all? Did you get anything at all? Bless God for you. Amen. I, I don't ever want to just come in here and give you something that you're not receiving. Amen. Make sure that you're getting something out of the message. Amen. Our text to give number is on the screens. Wherever you are, you can participate as part of the service. You can go to our website. Amen. Follow the directions. I don't ever miss out on a moment to give. I put this on Facebook the other day, and it blessed me real good. It, it, it really, because it took me, it, it was a shocking moment, and I, and I saw how God is, is beginning to move immediately. I went in and I, uh, and I went into the restaurant because I, often I do this and, and I sit over in a corner uh, because I've, I've, I've been taught that if I see somebody be a blessing to them, I've been taught not only just leaders, but you know, if you can be a blessing to someone, just be a blessing. Our bishop tells us whenever we see a pastor, we see a leader, be a blessing to them. Amen. So. I took that same concept and then I just began to apply it in different areas of my life. Amen. So I went to a restaurant and I, and I talked to the manager and I said, hey, manager, can you, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to go and get a couple of little checks. You just get a couple checks. I was sitting down by myself. I said, I just need a couple checks for just some random people. I don't even want to know who they are. I said, I don't want to know who they are. And I said, I, I just want to pay for their bill. And he looked at me. He said, what? I said, yeah, yeah, I, want, I just want to pay for their bill. And I just want to, you know, uh, just do that and, 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 and 
go home and get up out of here and sneak out. And I said, but, but one thing I need for you to do for me is don't tell them that I did it. I said, because I don't, I don't want you to tell them that I did it. I just, I just want to be, want to be a blessing to them and, and just take care of their stuff and just let it be a surprise. And, and, and he did so. He went and got a few, got a few bills and, and then he came back to me and, 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 and slid them up on the table up under a napkin real, 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 real smooth like because you had a couple of people looking around trying to figure out who was paying for stuff. So he just, he just slid the bills up under a napkin and, and then he looked at me and he said, I wish it was more people like you. He's like, so you don't, you don't want them to say nothing to you? You don't want, I said, no, 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 I don't, I don't want none of that. I just, I just want to sow. I just want to be a blessing. I just want to sow. And, and then he said, well, since you're taking care of their, theirs, I want to take care of yours. And I, I wasn't, I wasn't looking for him to take care of my stuff. I really wasn't looking for him to take care of my stuff. But I, well, well, amen then. Bless his name. Bring me another check then. Amen. Just bring me one more because uh, you're taking care of mine. I just might as well take care of somebody else. Right? So, so then, so then as, I, as, I, as I paid, I finished my food and I paid. And I, and I left a nice little healthy tip for the, you know, for the service. Because sometimes when you pay other people's bills, we don't look at the tip that we were supposed to pay. We just pay the bill. But, but I want to make sure that I paid the bill and the tip, make sure everybody was good. So, so I get up and I, you know, I, I, I slide over to the manager, gave him the money and gave him the receipts and all of that and said, well, well, thank you. I appreciate you. He looked at me right in my face and he said, um, he said, sir, well, I'm the manager here. I said, yes, sir. He said, well, anytime you come to this restaurant, come see me. And I said, well, why do I need to come see you every time I come? He said, because you don't pay no more for your food ever when I'm So, so I sold a little bit, and it came immediately back. Yeah, yeah, don't don't miss growth. It was growth. It just it just growth. He said, anytime you come back, you come see me. Now, I could be greedy and go eat there every day because he said it, but I'm not going to take advantage of my blessing. Amen. So tonight I challenge you to get a $12 seed if you can. We're in a season of immediate. Things are coming back immediately. Come on, lift your offering up. God, thank you. Amen. Follow the directions of your ushers from the rear of the church.